Hi. Last week, if you remember, we learned about Saul um, being changed from the inside out, and even his name was changed to Paul. And so when our lives are changed by Christ, we want to tell everybody what he's done for us. But sometimes that can be hard. And um, But today we're going to learn that we can trust God no matter what happens. Um, and sometimes our plans don't work out like we had thought they would, and that can be um, frustrating and hard to understand. But we're going to find out in today's story how we can still be happy during those times. But first, I want to show you um, some pictures of some faces. In the first one, I know we all have seen this one, and we automatically smile when we see it. And it's a happy face. And so think of a time when you were really, really happy. It was a beautiful sunny day outside, or maybe you were getting ready um, to go somewhere fun that you had been thinking about for a while. And so we all know what it's like to feel this way. But then there's this one, and it's not bright and sunny like the other one. It's a darker color, and the it's a frown now. The smile's been turned upside down. When was the time maybe that you were sad? Maybe you didn't get to go on that trip that you had been planning, or the weather was dark and gloomy, or you just didn't feel good, and we kind of feel sad. And sometimes we don't even know how to explain why we feel sad. We just do. And then there's this face, and it's even a darker color green, and his eyebrows are pointed down, and he's definitely not smiling. He, it's more than a frown. That's an angry face. When have you been angry? Maybe something didn't go your way or someone had hurt your feelings or sometimes, once again, you just don't know why, but you're just angry. But these are all feelings that we all have. And um, we can always talk to mom and dad about those feelings and let them know. We may not be able to explain it just the right way, but we can tell them how we're feeling and let them help us through it. But um, Today we're going to hear a story about Paul, and maybe he might have been feeling some of those same feelings, but we're going to find out. And it's called Earthquake in Prison, and it's found in Acts chapter 16, verses 24 to 34. Some people did not like Paul and his friend Silas preaching about Jesus. One day they were thrown into prison. But they were not worried. They knew God would take care of them. That night, God sent an earthquake. It shook so hard that all the prison doors opened up and all the prisoners' chains fell off. The guard thought everyone had escaped. He was terrified. He thought he was going to be in really big trouble. Paul told the guard, do not worry. We are still here. The guard was amazed, and he invited the two men to his house. The guard and his family learned about Jesus and decided to follow him too. The next day, Paul and Silas left to tell more people about Jesus. Remember, it's not always easy to follow Jesus, but we can trust God no matter what happens. We can still thank God and praise Him for um, that He's always with us, even in the hard times. So let's let's go over our memory verse again because it reminds us of that promise. It says, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. And that's found in Psalm chapter 107, verse one. So the coloring page that we're gonna send you today shows Paul and Silas in jail. And if you'll take a really close look at it, you can definitely tell they're in jail because their their feet are, are um, shackled. But look at their faces. They're both singing and smiling and they're singing praises to God, even though they're in prison. And there's our story on the back. And the craft that you're gonna do today, we'll send home with you as well. And it's something similar. It shows Paul and Silas in jail and they've got the chains on them, but they're both still singing. But what you're gonna do is color this first, then you can do like I did, and you can take black strips of construction paper and put your prison bars on there. And then after your earthquake, you can tear the prison bars off and it'll show Paul and Silas again. So that's what we'll send you today as well. Um, 
Okay, we're gonna include in today's worship songs, um, we've got three new ones. One of them you're gonna probably remember because we've done it before, but it's been a really long time since we've done it and it's called Shackles. And this one is done by Go Fish and it goes perfectly with today's lesson because it's talking about shaking off all those things that bind us. And um, they do a great job with that one. Um, the book that I wanna talk to mom and dad about is called First Virtues and it's by Dr. Mary Simon. And she does a really great job of giving us simple examples uh, of how to remember virtues that help us uh, build godly character. And different animals tell us the stories about the different virtues. And then in the very back are some great memory verses, some beginning memory verses for us. And they're all about godly character like kindness, be kind to everyone. 2 Timothy 2, 24, I know that we can learn that one. So those are just some really good virtues uh, put in story form for you. So um, practice your worship songs and join us back here again next week for another story. Thanks, see you later, bye-bye.